Hello, this is Edward. I'm uh, out again. It's uh, Saturday, uh, the first Saturday after Thanksgiving here in the United States. I'm in the state of Utah, and I decided to come out and try to uh, take some images. The reason why is because uh, it snowed the last few days. So I decided to uh, travel up to uh, Mount Tipinogos and see what I could find. Now, I've seen a lot of interesting things coming up here and some geology type stuff, but uh, I'm up here in by Sundance and I want to show you what kind of uh, images uh, I'm going to be able to take today. So, hold on a second here. Got to turn a the vehicle back on it looks like I'm gonna lower the window here right there that's Mount Tipinoga so I'm gonna get out here and I'm gonna take some pictures and I'm gonna share them with you I'm gonna be using my um, Fujifilm uh, 100s and 50s and uh, see what I can come up with. So uh, just wait and see. Give me a moment and uh, I'll be sharing them with you. You can see here I have my uh, Fujifilm 100S out. On it I have a 23 millimeter which is equivalent to about 18 millimeter and 35 millimeter size. Um, looks like I'm shooting at, at F26, ISO 100, and it looks like it's a sixth of a second shutter speed. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a, an image here. And uh, I've already had taken a couple images. I'm going to take one more. And I'm going to go ahead and share this with you. And then I'm going to go out and see what else I can find. I think I'm going to mostly concentrate on uh, Provo Canyon. I might go up to Deer Creek Reservoir and check it out. But I'm just going to stay in the local area here today. So here we go. this image up here so you can see it look at that it's a beautiful image I'm very pleased with that it'd be nice if there's some clouds well there's a little bit of clouds in there but not a whole lot but that's okay uh, it's kind of misty on the side of the mountain uh, lingering uh, clouds up there from uh, the snow we had the last couple days so anyway, thanks for coming out and joining me, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and move and see if I can find some other places to take some pictures. So I'll uh, share with you uh, when I see something. Well, I was going to leave, but I decided to uh, go ahead and pull out the Hasselblad uh, H4D uh, with uh, the 35 to 90 lens on, so it's about 18 millimeter to 70 uh, what's 75 millimeter 80 millimeters somewhere around there but anyway i'm going to go ahead and take some a couple pictures with this uh, i like the creamy effect you get from the hasselblad imager and it's uh it kind of reminds me of a film look so uh i really uh like to get this out and take pictures whenever i can with it so i'm going to go ahead and take some images right now here we go. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. I don't know if you can make that out. Let me take a couple more. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Let me 
see it's a little bit slippery out here. Oh yeah, here, you're cold. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it, but that's okay. You know, this is my favorite time of year for getting out and taking pictures. Well, I like fall and winter time. Uh, just the contrast between the dark and the light, the snow and the trees and everything else. I just, uh, I look as a landscape photographer. I'm not just a landscape photographer, but when I'm shooting landscape, that's what I like. Uh, mountains are my favorite place to go and to take pictures of. I'm gonna go ahead and drive up the canyon a little bit here. Well, it's not really a canyon around the mountain to, and see what I come up with. Gotta be careful though, the road's a little bit slippery. Anyway, um, here I go. Well, I moved up, up the road a little bit, uh, maybe a half a mile or so. And uh, I, got a, I have a different perspective right now, which I'm gonna share with you. right there so uh, I switched cameras I decided to go with uh, my Nikon D850 I love that camera it has a 24 to 70 millimeter 2.8 version 1 lens on there and uh, my settings are what were they uh, about 2 50th of a second at f10 ISO 100 okay so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take some images of that right now and then I'll share it with you so um, I've been sitting here and uh, after I took some pictures with my D850 I got out the Z9 with the 100 to 400 and 2x teleconverter and put it on there and um, noticed up on the high peak uh, we got uh, wind gusts going on as well and snow up in the air so I'm going to get out and see if I can get some video of that and uh, share that with you I oh, hope you like that. I'm gonna take and uh, drive up the side of the mountain uh, a little ways farther and see what else I can come up with. Uh, and after that, I'm gonna head back down Provo Canyon. I wanna stop and get some uh, video and images of the geology. It's really, with the snow, it really accentuates it, highlights it, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, don't know how long this snow is going to last, if it's going to warm up. Like I said, I moved down here from Alaska, and once the snows up there, it stays all year long. I don't know about here. Uh, you know, it's been, I don't know, years, probably over a decade or longer since I have really lived here in Utah, and things have changed since then, so we'll see. Anyway. I'll join you here in a little bit if I find something else uh, to take pictures of. Oops. We're letting the 
this car get by. Domesticator or wild turkeys here hanging out on the road. That's come this course up. It looks like they're coming down out of the trees. So I don't know. That's the come this car stopped up here in front of me. Got some big old toms there. Oh, they must be wild. I know where I can come and get some pictures. see what I can do. Let's see here. was fun. Took pictures of the turkeys. Came up to the Aspen Grove Center, which is farther up the canyon, and uh, or on the road, whatever. And uh, so that took a good bit of time. I had shot some video and some still images of the turkeys. Probably not the best, but it wasn't the worst either. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off. I don't know that I'll be stopping uh, down in the canyon. But I might, I might not. If I don't, then of course you won't see it here. But thanks for coming along with me and I hope you enjoy.